Bullshit Pop on this new radio show. And this is John O'Guthrie. And today we are going to be talking about some more Lasso Lab basics. Uh, I am learning Lasso Lab for the first time, uh, which is the Lasso Soft IDE, the ability to program uh, in Lasso, and a great program for doing that. Um, but I really still don't know how to use it. In the last video, Getting Started, number one, um, we sort of showed how to, you know, use, you create a file and do some basic stuff. This time, we're actually going to walk through it a little bit. So let's get right to that. Um, I'm going to go back to my desktop here on my laptop, and of course, I'm going to open Lasso Lab here. Um, I've got it in my dock, as you can see at the bottom. Unfortunately, if you're running Windows, you don't have a beautiful dock, but that's not my problem. Um, for all intents and purposes, then, you'll see here is my file, and inside this file, you will see let me just open up this project Sean's first wonderful amazing project and I'm gonna look inside the web root and I'm gonna see there's actually a whole bunch of little X's um, and if you remember from the last one if I click the play and I run this it will run and I will see the date here now some of the things that we want to do today is we want to go through these buttons and I also want to show how to get this to appear in a browser directly from this John is gonna help me through that yep um, let's just go and look at some of these buttons along the top first You'll see along the top, I can click on new and I can create new files, new lasso files. Um, the difference between a lasso file and a regular file is? It's not a lot. Not a lot. It's got yeah. a pretty icon. Yeah, um, the icon's the best thing. The icon's the best thing. And so you should, you know, use those pretty icons. You'll see I also have lasso talk. So if I have a question and I don't know what to do, but I can go through and I can do a search and I can look through this list. There's some great stuff happening in here right now. Um, I can go to lasso reference. And I can actually go look through or do a search for here. I've, I'll type, there's date. I actually typed that in already. So I'll, I'll click go. And this will lead me through to date. I can, I can go through to see the actual information about this tag and what it was doing. The tag that I used in the last, it's called tag, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I call it tag. It's um, a method. And of but, course, you know, we have wonderful object. ability to share stuff on tag swap here. Uh, we're going to show some stuff on that in a sec. Now, the first thing we want to do, though, is we want to be able to run, back, going back to my first file, you can see along the top here, there's a list of my of open things. And I've got this date file, but I don't want to just see it through the command line version of Lasso to check for errors. I want to run it through a web browser. I mean, that's the whole point. Right? Okay. This is a web programming language. Yep. I mean, that's, that's the idea. Um, so how do I get that to appear? Right. So the first thing you need to do is you need to actually create a run configuration. A run configuration. A run configuration. Okay. Now, when you are just executing the files, as we saw in the last uh, uh, in the last video we did. Yes. Uh, then we were just executing the my first file dot lasso. Yes. And that was appearing down here in the console. And you can see this is appearing down in the console. Yes. Fantastic. However, that is not running in the entire environment, so it's not getting. Uh, your lasso apps, your lasso libraries, your lasso startup. It's not getting any it's of it. It's not actually checking, it's not going through, or doing, it's just no. checking that file. It's just running that file on the command line, as uh, if you were running it on the command line. Okay. And the other thing is that you don't get access to any of the administration functions that you are setting up in terms of your, your database. Yes. And uh, so it, it's just executing executing the file. Interesting. It's, it's done. Okay. Well, lasso 9 is not done. Right. Really. So. Okay. Let's create a run configuration. You do that by uh, by coming up here, the uh, the play button. Yes. Where we pressed before, to the right hand side of it is a little tiny arrow, black. And right. Arrow. A down arrow. Down arrow. It's pointing down. It's pointing down. Right. Clicking on that implies that you can click on that and something down will appear. Right. Yeah, that's a very good point. I never thought of that. This is a basic tutorial, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, okay. So, let's create a run configuration. So, run configurations. Do you have to do this every time? No, you don't. Okay. Only the first time. Only the first time. Only the first time you want to do it for this project. Now, we're setting it up for, for every project. This project. Okay. Okay. Down here, we have Lasso Server Instance. And this is a Lasso Server Instance that's running on my machine, is on that your, correct? Well, no, it's not quite. This is not the Lasso Server Instance that is actually running via Lasso 9 an instance manager, this is sandboxed. Really? This is running purely for Lasso Lab. It's running inside Lasso Lab. It's effectively running inside Lasso Lab. Lasso wow. Lab. Okay? Cool. okay. It's using these specific environmental things. It's not doing it's not interacting at all with your previously or externally defined Lasso 9 instances. Right. Okay. Okay. So we have here Lasso Server instance. It we have no 
current defined uh, Lacy server instances, right? So let's go and create one. Up here, you'll see that there's a new launch configuration button. New launch configuration. Okay. Okay. Let's click that. Let's call it something. Should we call it Bob? Bob. Short for Kate. Bob. Short for Kate. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Now we're going to choose the project. You'll see here that there's no project already already loaded. So we're going to press browse. There's Sean's first wonderful, amazing project. We see defined that. before. Right. Fantastic. Pressing OK. It's already found the web root directory. So because we kept this as the default when we created the project, we kept the web root as the default. We're OK with that. We're going to run from there. OK. Now, you can run this on a different port. So it doesn't con conflict with your regular browser and surfing habits. Correct. Okay, so if you've already got Apache running Lasso 8, 9, whatever. Yes. God help us, PHP. Um, on, uh, on port 80, then you can be completely without conflict running this on a different port. Some people already have some of these things defined on port 8080. So if you want, you can change it. Right. Okay. I have no idea what you're actually running on this computer. So 80. we're going to see whether or not there's something already running on 8080 by just trying this. Oh, I guarantee you there's something. I, I tried to fill up every single port with something at one point just to make sure my computer was being used. Fantastic. Right. Let's yeah. see what it does. Okay. Listen, I, okay, this is the IP address. Now, that is not really a valid IP address, but it is a little bit like localhost. Zero, okay. zero, zero, zero is not localhost. It's not. It's a little bit like localhost. Okay. Okay. And I'll show you, show you a little shortcut later on. Okay. Fantastic. We're going to leave all well, of so, these So should you put lo localhost in there? No. 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 Okay. No. Leave it alone. Leave it as zero, 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 zero. Okay. Leave all of the uh, startup options unchecked apart from open web browser to admin. So I, this is where I would enable my, my debugger, etc. later. Correct. Okay, we'll do that in another, yeah, another time. Another time. Yeah. Okay. Down here we have the script file extensions. Now, out of the box, Lasso 9 and Lasso Lab are configured to execute Lasso files. Okay. Makes now, sense. Realistically speaking, uh, I want know, to include some, you know, ink files, PHP files. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Let's run the PHP files. See what Fabulous. happens. Okay. <laughs> then we would add these. That was a good security feature if we pretended all of the Lasso files were PHP. Yeah, world domination by proxy. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good idea. Okay. okay, so friends don't let friends do PHP, so we're just going to leave it the way it is now. Yes. So we are applying and we press run. Wow, that was hard. Yeah, very, very hard. It's down the bottom here in our console, which we saw in a previous video. Uh, we start to see the um, uh, it, it loading. And we're going to press allow because Sean has uh, has extra firewalling. And, oh, uh, that needs an administrator's name. Yeah. Don't look, everyone. Nobody look at my password, Pete, please. Oh, no, we won't use that. We'll use, uh, yeah, we'll use that. Um, but, uh, and the password is... Uh, Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, here we go. Administrator password. You'll need that. Yeah. So now this is this is the first time this has been run. Right. So we're setting it up. We're initializing the administration. Yes. So over here, you'll see that we've, um, on the left-hand side, we've got Lasso apps, Lasso libraries, Lasso startup. Now look and see what happens once we actually initialize the server administration. So, Sean, enter something that you can remember. Uh-oh. If you forget this, you're in trouble. Really? Yeah. Okay. So now, but I'm already running a copy of Lasso on this machine. That's okay. This so, is, so this is a separate machine. This is a separate thing. Totally so, so, separate. So we're going to type remem remember. That's easy to remember, right? Yeah. And this... Super secret password, right? <laughs> yes. Okay, fantastic. Now, can you remember that? I can. Great, let's press create. <laughs> now, you, now you see why I said you need to oh, remember. Oh, you need to remember, it. right. Remember. I can barely spell remember, though. <laughs> I now remember this password. Is it good to remember this password in my keychain? Well, because of the fact that this is local and because of the fact that it's not going to be accessed by anyone else, it's probably okay to do that. Okay. We're talking so about a development environment. Here. Log in and... Ooh, I did it. I got it right. High five again. Yeah. Fantastic. Nice. Okay, so you'll see here, first of all, that uh, we have the entire Lasso 9 administration uh, 
appearing in our browser. That's a so, very old logo. It is a very old logo. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we need to change that, Sean. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So up the top here, you'll see that we have uh, my first file.lasso. Lasso. We've got Lasso Talk, which we open from our buttons. Yes. Lasso Reference yes. and Tag Swap. Over on the right hand side, of course, we've got our new window, which is the Lasso server. The Lasso server, and you'll notice that the icon has got a little world in there, and that's indicating the fact that we are actually running a browser session and you're actually going to ip address zero 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 that's right interesting okay okay all good so let's skip over all of the uh the lasso 9 administration we can come back to that later on i'm going to remove the lasso 9 slash admin from the url you've got to be very very careful by the way that it, there is a little bug in the foundation uh, um, base of Lasso Lab, which is Eclipse, there's a little bug that sometimes will go and reselect the URL as you're trying to type it in. So you've got to be really careful. Right. And it's just done Not again. To delete it. Okay. So right. I'm going to take a little bit of a shortcut. It's greedy. It, it's it likes very to greedy. Stuff. Right. A little bit of a shortcut because I can't type. That's a feature. That's not a bug. Uh, I okay. can't type, so I'm going to leverage a feature by going copy. Right. And paste. My first file dot lasso. Okay. Okay, makes sense. So this is the web root, and bam! There's the date. Another i5. Okay. That's the stuff. Can I show you another little trick, please? Okay, fantastic. So let's uh, let's take this uh, entire URL. Yes. Okay. And by magic, let's come back to a web browser. Yes. And paste it in there, and see if that works. And it does. High five. And again, and that's it. Yeah. And we just managed to run through it. So now that configuration is available forever or, or Yeah, forever. Okay, so let's uh let, let's just demonstrate. If I create another project, yeah. will I have to create another configuration? You will. I will. And, and will that be zero 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 and that will be another port? It will be zero zero zero. Yes. Zero. But you can have it on the same port, but you can't have them running at the same time. Oh, if I you see. want to have them running at the same time, yes. put them on different ports. Makes sense? Uh, makes sense. Fabulous. Okay. okay. Is that what you do? Yeah. You have a whole whack of different ports? I do. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Now, see down on the bottom right hand side of your Lasso Lab window, it says launching Bob short for Kate. Now that's the name of our configuration. Yes. And 57%. Right. Well, you know, that's a little bit of a, of a, of a, of a, of a feature. Feature. Right? What does that mean? That actually means that it's currently running. So that fifty percent that fifty seven percent is misleading. Don't worry about it. Okay. Okay, but if you want to stop it, don't well, quit Lasso Lab. That implies that what is running? Lasso nine. Lasso nine is running. Ah, let's okay. see that Bob Short for Kate, the configuration we we, we made. Right. It's running. That's running. Okay. Fantastic. Makes sense. Okay. So on the right hand side of that is this little tiny thing. This little tiny icon and it shows progress. Is that going up or down? It's going. It's just going, and it's not advancing. I see. All good? Yeah. Now we want to stop it, right? Stop it. And press stop the it. little red button, and it cancels it. And so therefore, if we were to come back over to our browser and go reload, there's you nothing have... running. Right. Okay. okay. So that's how you start and you stop a run conf conf configuration. Interesting. If you want to restart that run configuration, yes, you're up here on this and you so that's where either, your configurations are yep you can either select bob short for kate or run a script file okay or if you really want to go and work out which one you've actually already configured you can come here select it and go run so could, can you use if i was to have five or six different projects could yep. i use the same configuration for multiple projects i wouldn't suggest you do why because of the fact that you're then going to have to change the project that is associated with that run configuration every single time. Gotcha. Okay. Now, if you could, you have a project that that, that has multiple configurations and you flip back yep. and forth. Yep. You could. I don't know why you would, but yes, but you could theoretically. You could. Okay. okay. Um, interesting. Well, I think that's it. That's the next steps. Uh, we've been through the major. Is there anything we're missing for a button angle there? Well, we we've sort of uh, skipped over the. Uh, My get rid of that. Get rid of the backup. Goodbye. Okay, so we sort of skipped over some of these other buttons here. We went through here, and there's the search. 
Okay. Oh yes, searching. That makes Search. sense. Yeah. All right. Let's do some searching. Let's do some searching. So you've got three types here. You've got file search, Java search, or a lasso search. Right. So I wouldn't worry about about the Java search. I already have my Java. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So if we were to press file search, you'll see that, well, in a previous uh, uh, in, in a previous search that we did just before to demonstrate this as I was teaching Sean. Yes. Um, we were searching for date in the files. If you search for in the lasso search, this is a little bit more complex. Okay. So as soon as you have uh, more complex code with uh, with types and, and methods that you've created to manage your uh, your projects in terms of the object oriented development. Yes. Then you would be able to search for uh, for the, for, the, for the details, but right now we don't have that. Right. Okay. And we'll go through that in much more greater detail later on. If we come back here to file search, then we're looking for the text date. We're also going to search in the entire workspace. If we had uh, more than one project, then we could actually uh, narrow that to uh, specific projects that we wanted to work on. Right. Okay. But right now, workspace, we're looking for date. You can change the case sensitivity, and you can also restrict this to, say, uh, star dot lasso so that's only going to look in, in lasso files that's fast yep interesting okay but that's for now let's just leave that as star it's going to look at everything press search and down the bottom opens up a new little tiny window a search window search window so it's going to show and it shows us inside the project yes inside the directory yes inside the file yes is date yes and it gives you the line numbers of every huh. occurrence yes and what's more is that you double click on that and it's going to take you directly to where that, that found. line number. That How file, handy that is number. that? Totally. That's good stuff. Yeah. Thank you, Chano. No worries. Thank you, Sean. Sure. <laughs>